kind of confirmed that probably won't be an AEW show, and she's probably not going to be going back and forth from America to Japan, it seems. Still a chance for some impact stuff. Well, actually, still a chance for AEW stuff, but from what we've seen so time, the fact that it wasn't automatic, I just don't think it's going to happen right now. But, you know, never say no. Guys, this is Santi Numero. And you're listening to Wrestling Behind the Curtain. You already know what it is. Your, it's your boy, Kenzo the Great, also known as Low Key, if you know, you know. Um, welcome back to, or maybe not welcome back, if you're new here, welcome. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you like the video, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. If you're not new here, welcome back. You already know it's your boy, Kenzo, our, you know, wrestling behind the curtains, New Japan expert, so to speak. And, you know, I'm already, you know, I'm bringing it to you, straight shot, no chaser. We're going to get straight to the head. And you know, if, if you know, you know, we also got a little smoke going on, you know. So today we're going to talk about why you should be watching. Wait, let me get that. Why you should be watching Mercedes Monet, formerly Sasha Banks, New Japan run. And we know, we give a little time, we let a little something, something pass before we, you know, it is a New Japan run or a Japanese run because there are other promotions involved. But we just been a little minute, so we can now kind of confirm there probably won't be an AEW show, and she's probably not going to be going back and forth from America to Japan. It seems still a chance for some impact stuff. Well, actually, still a chance for AEW stuff. But from what we see in some time, the fact that it wasn't automatic, I just don't think it's going to happen right now. But you know, never say never. But Mercedes Monet, she came out. If you saw it. I hope you, I hope you should have saw it by now. Again, we gave you some time, and I already talked about that in other several other videos now. But different hair, got the flames and stuff going on. That's fire. That's really literally, but you know, ring gear, all of course, and a new name, Mercedes Monet. You know, using part of her real name and Monet because you know, again, y'all not new to this. So why you should be watching it again if you're obviously. I'm talking to people who are fans of Sasha Banks, not, you know, like my friend Chantel. She, this video not for her. See, I, I just, I can't get her on the, the Sasha Banks, Mercedes Monet boat, the hype train, so to speak. But if you already like Sasha Banks' run, then you already know that Sasha Banks is one of the best heels in the business. And if you know about New Japan, or if you don't know, if you, you don't about to know, you should be watching our videos. I've explained a couple why you should be watching. Go back and check those out. But New Japan, usually, traditionally, when wrestlers come from that aren't Japanese, you know, whether that be American, Canadian, Mexican, uh, being British, whatever the case may be, they usually come in as what they call uh, gaijins, which are, you know, outsiders. And usually when they come out as outsiders, they're usually, uh, what you would call it, heels. Again, I hope you know what a heel is because you're watching a wrestling channel video. But uh, the villain, that's usually how they come in. They come in as arrogant, cocky American, or cocky this, or whatever. So, obviously, when Mercedes Monet comes in, what does she do first thing? She challenges Kyrie, who she has a bit of history with. That's the Discord, by the way. You hear that ding? Join the Discord. You know, the link will be in the in the comments. Join. So, yeah. So, she has some history with Kyrie. They were faced before, face off. So, I mean... Coming straight out for the belt. You know, Kyrie just had her first title defense. It was, you know, fire match, by the way. And then here comes Mercedes Monet, you know, straight on her stuff. So, obviously, that match has to be on the cards. Why else would she have straight on her stuff there? So, but who else could she face? We have a lot of options. And this is just, you know, on the Japanese circuit. Because, again, there could, there's also supposed to be a match in February at the San Jose event. That's when she's supposed to face Kyrie. Will she win and be champ? Because that will actually close off the amount of people she's going to be facing off against. But we really don't know. There is a couple options. You got the stardom high speed champ, AZM. She's fine. I think they should have a good, they could have a good, they could have a good couple matches. I, I don't, I, if you know me, you know, I don't believe anyone should have just one match, you know, like, Maybe, you know, spread them out over time, obviously. Don't just, you know, let's have them three matches in a month. WWE did that with, you know, Sasha Banks and Bailey. But, again, 
that's not what I'm saying. But, you know, obviously, when you plan a match, you never plan for just one. That's kind of point of wrestling being fixed. You can always face each other again with different results in different ways. So, but yeah, this high-speed champ, AZM, and the star, Miyu Yamashito from TJPW. That's another promotion. You got Aja Kong still hanging around. That's a legend. You know, you you might just want to, you might just want to, you know, have that about you. Aja Kong is apparently never going to retire. So, um, those are the three top I got. It's not a long list, but again, how many of you guys are watching Stardom? Exactly. So, if you aren't, check it out. And you, know, you can leave some comments be like, oh, why did I mention this person? But I don't think we're going to get too many of those comments based on the comments we usually get. But again, we're gonna, we definitely going to be keeping an eye. Well, by we, I mean me, the Japanese expert of wrestling behind the curtain. We're going to keep an eye out there for what Sasha Banks is going to keep doing because obviously like, Sasha Banks, Mercedes Monet, it's going to take me some time to say, pick one because I'm okay. And talk about her in two worlds. We don't know if she's not coming back. She might come back and then obviously she come back. She got to be Sasha Banks again. So let's not just act like the, the name is gone. But again, she made her wrestling debut, another debut, maybe her last debut. Maybe I don't know if she's wrestled in Mexico. That's neither here nor there. It's going to be a great run, I think, because everything she's done in the past, this told her it's gonna be fire. We saw her in NXT. We saw her SmackDown Women's Champion. We, we, we've seen her do it. We've seen her in the tag team with Bailey. She's been fire, in my opinion. She don't miss. You know, we got some other pod mates who don't think the same. But again, you should definitely check out Sasha Banks's run. Cause will she keep this gear? I think that's interesting. Look out for that. Again, we're gonna be keeping our eyes. Again, you know, I'm always on that New Japan stuff anyway. We got they got a lot of stuff going on there. So, you know, we're gonna keep our eyes peeled. We're gonna keep you guys updated. Make sure again, make sure you like, share, subscribe, join the Discord, join the Patreon. We I mean that has the Patreon has even more, even more content. You you think it's only five dollars. Come on. Get join the five dollars and you get you get two, three more videos, maybe a week, maybe who knows. I got some content building. We can talk about Mike Cardona. We got some stuff coming. So make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, and join the Patreon. You're, I just gave it to you. Straight shot. No chasing. I brought all the smoke. If you know, you know. Yeah.